Hey, Al Puckett here, Jason Diebold, um, and we're going through setting up all these different power blocks uh, components. So what I have right here, power block sport bench chin up attachment. If you have one of these sport benches from power blocks, this is automatically gonna fit in the back for you. One way to check out to make sure of that is make sure you've got a bolt on the side of your bench here. You don't, as long as you have that bolt, both the dip stand and the chin-up bar will work for you. So I think this is a really crucial thing. If you're going to be working out at home in any way, shape, or form, you definitely need a bench. From all the benches I've used, and I've kind of been through them all, every gym, all the select tech stuff, the stuff you see at Walmart, Kmart, whatever, this is by far the most versatile and best bench. If you're doing body beast and or hammer and chisel, I really believe you need this bench because when they do an incline move, you can go to the exact same position that they're in and it really helps. But what comes up a lot for people is they had to buy the bench and now they got to figure out a way to do chin-ups. Can you um, point over here at the door? A lot of people will get the chin-up attachment that goes on the doors, but look at this door here. It's a circular door, although this probably isn't standard for most houses. But there's no way I can do a chin-up attachment here. Um, one solution that I used was to go and buy a big rack system like this. I think I got this on sale for $150. It'd be great if you want to do some squats too. But I got it um, primarily just to do pull-ups. So this is a lot of overkill to do your pull-ups. So this is a really neat thing. You're going to need a bench anyway for $140 extra. You can get this chin-up attachment and do both things at once. So this video is primarily just to open the box and show you what's inside. Shipping for all this stuff, actually I was really impressed with. Really only took about a week to get everything in. Um, everything came together. I was kind of worried things would come in different pieces. It all came together as one. The only thing I will say is this particular item the chin-up bar, half of it actually stuck out of the, the box here. So I just want to make sure there wasn't any damage on this, but that looks good. So what do we get in the box? We get the actual bar attachment you're going to be hanging from. There's another bar here that's going to go from the bench up to your chin-ups to give you the length you need. I get a set of instructions, which I'm sure are going to be very similar to the diff station instructions. You know, if you want to see how to open the box for the dip station or how to assemble that, go ahead and click right here in that video. Click on the video and it will show you how to put the dip station together. So I'm sure these instructions are very similar to the dip station. Yeah. You know, we're really not going to need that. It looks like there's only two bolts that we need for this again. And then your bolts here are taped down to the bottom of the box so they don't float around. Just two bolts to attach the bar. To the station, uh, since this is going to be a pretty sim simple and easy assembly, I'm going to go ahead and do it. If you really just want to see what's in the box and how this thing will work, you know, you can stop the video here. If you want to see me take an extra couple minutes to put it together, go ahead and keep watching. So, just got to get this bar out. Pretty straightforward, looks really good quality, maybe. About 13 and a half pounds. This part I have no idea how they wrapped with such a strange configuration on there. Oh yeah, I do. They had to use tape to tape two pieces together. Alright, so we just put together a dip station. I'm pretty sure I know how this goes. I'm going to want to bring that bench up here, so to bring the seat down, you just lift this little bar, put it out of the way, the seat will go in the down position, now you can bring the bench up, and I believe we have to be at this 45 degree position in order to assemble this together. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put this bar into place. The thing with this bar is you've got these little notches that fills up the gap and then you've got solid bar. The solid bar here needs to be on the bottom of the bench to line up to the screw. So you can see here, if I put it like this, that screw will hit this bar. If I do it upside down, there's a chance that screw won't hit the bar. 
before I do that, I need to pop off a little clip here on top of the bench. Comes off pretty easy just using my utility knife. We can go ahead put the bar in. And that bar right there is pretty stable by itself. The extra screw attachment that you get here is going to keep it even tighter. So it comes with this extra screw attachment that goes right into this bolt that's already pre-assembled to your bench. If you're like me, you didn't know what that bolt was for. Now you do. And then with the pull-up bar, I guess this is configured pretty much you could only do it one way. You know, sometimes I like to put these pull-up bars upside down so that this part actually is kind of easier to grip onto. But for this configuration, because these guys are kind of staggered, this chin-up bar is only going to work in that direction in the 45 degree position. Let's get a couple bolts and put it on there. Something like this is kind of hard, especially if you're in person. Be safest and best to use two people. So you have to hold the bar while you're trying to get that uh, bolt through there. This particular bolt looks a little bit bigger than the last. So that's not a 17 millimeter anymore. I'm gonna go and figure that out here in a second. All right, let's double check and see the size of this bolt. If you're like me and don't like searching through all your tools while you're assembling, Okay, so that's a 19 millimeter now, a little bit bigger. So if you watch this video like you're supposed to before you put the thing together, just go grab your 19 millimeter socket. Save yourself a little bit of time for looking. Notice one of my tricks there if you're doing something like this is you take the nut and bolt with you down to your toolbox, figure out what size you need and then only bring that size back with you. You don't have to bring the whole toolbox. All right, here. I don't know if I've got a wrench that big. Okay, yeah. So the 19 millimeter is also close to a three quarter. Just using a three-quarter inch box ring to hold the other side of this. If you're putting together a pull-up bar, that's something you want to make sure it's pretty stable together. <clears throat> I'm going to torque that to about 38.9 foot-pounds. No, I'm just kidding. My uncle used to joke with me when I was putting together a car. And I'm like, hey, Uncle, you got a um, torque wrench I can use? He's like, no, I don't have a torque wrench, but I have a calibrated arm. Big Fred Zero there. Just make it tight enough where it's not going to move. Okay, so now you're there, it's assembled. I'm pretty sure that this, this bench says to operate in the 45 degree position. If I go up higher, in theory, I could still do pull-ups on this. That looks like it's going to start to get a little wobbly. Let me double check the directions. It says the maximum weight you should be using on here is 250 pounds. So if you're above that, you're not rated for this. And it shows it actually being operated right here in this position. To me, that looks a little wobbly there. Um, I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's do a couple chin-ups first of all.
Okay, well that feels pretty good up here. Sorry, we had a phone call there. I wasn't sure the video stopped. Um, we can just try to do a wide. And I mean, I'll tell you right off the bat, this is not gonna be. Oh, okay. Right there. If I kip at all when I do this, the front of the bench is coming up on me. Can you see that? You show that? Um, so that's not the safest thing in the world. And when I did it, I could feel the bench come up and I still felt very stable. So what I'm gonna tell you is when you're doing pull-ups on this, it's one you just wanted to be doing pull-ups. Like if I do a clean chin up here, I feel super stable. Now if I do a pull-up and I'm super stable with it, super calm, that felt fine. If I do the same pull-up and I do a kip, you can hear the front of that bench comes up. Now I still feel very solid in that, but that's not something I'm sure neither Power Block or myself would say is a safe condition to be working in. Which might be good if you're somebody like me that likes to kip a lot, something like this is gonna force you to do good quality pull-ups, not do the kip because the kip gets a little bit dangerous. So I think if you want to have a pull-up bar like in CrossFit where they really jump around. It makes sense to do something like this that's freestanding. Here I can kip. This thing's not gonna move. You try to kip on something like this. You see that front bar comes up a lot. Again, I still feel very safe. Um, all your weight's back here and you know the only place you can go is down. But especially if you had slippery carpet, or an unstable service, um, surface, you can get into a dangerous situation there. If I go back to 45, that feeling, that, you know, that feels worse now. It's gonna take less weight to bring that up. So for this particular guy, you wanna be all the way up there, which is really good for the height because it's just to the point where I can grab it, if I do a pull up, and I got my legs straight, I can do a good clean pull up get all the way down. My legs are not hitting the floor. And I'm 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, so again, um, price on that was, well, I told you wrong before, I said 150, this was $79. So if you're like me, you're in a room where you really can't drill into the walls for $79 to get this attachment that goes on your bench is a really good deal. One thing I wanna show you here too, because. This is the one part that had the most questions about. People are worried it's not gonna be stable. The other question I had with the dip station is, if I leave the pull-up bar on, can I still use the full bench? So right here, seems like no problem. Can I go all the way down? Okay, number one, it's a little awkward to work with. Not as easy to go all the way down. Wow, that's, that's amazing engineering to me. When Power Block puts this all together, like, I don't need to take that bar off to do all the different moves. Here I'm back down, I'm back ready for the bench press. If I even wanted to use that on my, my half rack there, I could turn the bench around, go the other way, and still do flat bench press. I wouldn't have to take this bar off. And I kind of like it better with the bar on. Makes it real easy to move this around. We have to move it around a lot in this place for cleaning and to maneuver, so that makes it easy. Only other thing I'd say, if we go all the way up for a military press, I still have free range of motion. I can only grab this bar when I'm really trying to, like it's almost the limit of my flexibility to get that bar. So I imagine any military press I do here, I'm gonna be safe of hitting that bar. Now maybe something if you're trying to do a barbell tricep move, something like that, that might interfere. And again, in that case, this is not hard to take this out. I, un I loosen the screw. Be a little careful now because this is a little oblong shape. I can go move this over somewhere else 
and do the rest of my workout with just my bench. So that's pretty easy and maneuverable to move around. Again, if you're having a hard time figuring out a chin-up attachment that'll work for your house, I think for $200 list price on the bench, $79 for the chin-up bar. This is a great option that's gonna give you the most flexibility. And don't forget, for an extra $49, you can have the dip station too. Obviously, I can take one out, put the other one in, and I would be able to do chin-ups, everything on the bench, and a dip station. That alone with a set of weights and a bench would pretty much be your full gym. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to PM me. If you find, find this helpful, go ahead and subscribe to our channel.